condition of the workers. That is what law says. But the employer, in spite of uh, matter being seized in conciliation, they have transferred the workers. And which we have pointed out to the uh, uh, government, that is the Labour Commissioner, but Labour Commissioner has not done anything till date. And where to go in such situation when the employer is not following the law, the employer is not implementing the law, what is to be done? There is no other alternative than to come on the street. And these employers, they are using brute police force, brute police force to crush the legitimate uh, trade union struggle of the workers. We are opposing this. Never in history of Goa, police force has been used to crush the movement of the working class. The peaceful movement, the democratic movement, and we are opposing this. We are calling upon the chief minister, please look into this better. Because you have to, you are the home minister, you have to, you are responsible for whatever action police are taking. So please instruct the police not to interfere in the peaceful movement. Let the court take its own action. Let the court interfere. Let the court say that they have no right to sit in the gate of the employer. Because we are sitting on the, uh, uh, adjacent to the gate of the employer, protesting against the high-handed action of the, of the employer. And in such situation, the police has no role to play. It is the courts. Courts have to grant injunction. Police cannot abrogate the power of the court. That is what we are, we are, we are repeatedly saying. And Verna police is acting in high-handed manner. He is using police force. He is using physical force to uh, disperse these workmen from assembling on the gate of the factory in a peaceful manner. Verna police has a we are going to give a written representation because uh, uh, last time when we, we, when we gave a written letter to the police saying that we are going to hold a peaceful demonstration adjacent to the gate of the one pharma company, the, the uh, deputy collector told the uh, police inspector of Verna, ensure that the meeting takes place in an orderly manner. So even the deputy collector has told that allow them to hold a meeting but it should be in a peaceful manner and all our meetings are in a peaceful manner we don't carry uh, sticks we don't carry swords we are barehanded we are we are the most oppressed and exploited people and when this order was there the police comes there and police tells the uh, the people disperse from here you have no right to assemble here go 100 meters go 200 meters what is this is police court because Power to grant injunction 100 meters, 200 meters is 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 the power of the civil court. <laughs> so this is the thing, and the second thing is that kaido zarasa zale kaide che palan karat mere. Ami kaide che palan karta zale tumi kaide che kidak palan kari na. Illegal termination zar tar kordan terminate kardu lo zale teka pahili chachche do pakzai. Take a shokas due pakzai, Tajir inquiry karpakzai, and his earther kai misconduct proves alo, Zala take a dismiss karpakzai, Punhanga, Verna, and Tashekaina, summary termination, to have union kalama, a corner corner union kala, corn corn food, union karpa, sir, to hege termination, hege termination. This is the way it is happening. What to do? Where is the government? Where is the Labour Commissioner? That's what we are asking. Disputes are pending before the Labour Commissioner, but nothing is happening. The last one month is on, the disputes are pending, but no solution, nothing is happening. So whom to, whom to, uh, uh, to voice our grievance? Before whom? Somebody has to look into this? See, Kamgar uh, Zawasa, uh, he is an exploited person. He is a weak person. Because when we are representing the movement, it is the workers' movement who cannot fight the might and force finance of the employer. We have to take streets and voice our grievance because whatever legal action we have taken, nothing has happened. The Labour Commissioner is sleeping. The government is sleeping. So what to do? We have to protest and the right to protest is guaranteed to us under the constitution of India and we are exercising that. And we are saying that please solve this problem because if this problem is not solved, it will bring a bad name to the whole industrial scenario in Goa which we don't want.
we want peaceful industrial relations we want peaceful uh, uh, set up in the in, in the state of goa we want minimum wages why minimum wages has not been notified what is the reason last uh, ganesh chaturthi the concerned minister had made a announcement that minimum wage will be notified very soon and it will be a present to the workers on the eve of the ganesh chaturthi but now ganesh chaturthi is gone diwali is gone christmas is gone now again ganesh chaturthi next ganesh chaturthi is going to come when the notification will come when the minimum wage will revise